Looks like the DJI Neo is taking its sweet time to make an appearance. We were all expecting it on August 29th, but now it seems like we'll have to wait until September, likely the 5th, for the global launch. No official teaser yet, but there's been some interesting stuff coming out recently. The official DJI Peru website released some info on the Neo's features, which lines up with earlier leaks, and they're definitely worth checking out. Here are its key features and specs. Now here's where it gets interesting. A YouTuber who's been exploring Southeast Asia found himself in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and decided to hunt down the DJI Neo. After searching through a bunch of stores, he finally got his hands on it. His take? Calling it just a selfie drone might be an understatement. Sounds like there's more to this little guy than meets the eye. A big thanks to this fellow creator who got an early look at the DJI Neo and shared some great insights on it. You can check out his full video from the link in the description below. The Neo's design is kinda inspired by the Hover Air X1 with a similar look and some cool buttons up front for quick shot modes. Basically, you can get some epic shots without needing a controller or an app. Even though DJI took some inspiration from Hover's Air X1, they've put their own spin on things. The Neo works seamlessly with DJI's controllers and goggles, and the pricing seems pretty aggressive, which could make it a strong contender in the market. One cool thing about the Neo is its C0 class marking, which is a big deal for such a powerful little drone, which means it's good to go in urban areas under EU rules. This opens up some cool possibilities for flying it in places where bigger drones might struggle. Plus, the prop guards pop on and off super easily, so you can switch things up depending on where you're flying. But here's a twist. Unlike most DJI drones, the Neo doesn't have a microSD card slot. Instead, it packs 23 gigs of internal storage, which you can access by connecting the drone to your PC. Handy, but we'll see how it plays out. Since the drone was still sealed and unactivated in the video, there are a lot of unknowns about its performance. The YouTuber was pretty pumped to test out the FPV capabilities and how it works with DJI's goggles, so we'll have to wait and see how it stacks up against other micro drones and even DJI's bigger models. So what do you think? Would you go for a pocket-sized drone like the DJI Neo, even if it might compromise a bit on image quality? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech updates. Catch you in the next one.